What is a COVID long hauler? Long haulers, long haulers, long haulers, long haulers. COVID-19 long haulers. Thousands of people of all ages are staying sick for weeks. There are many patients that have gone on for months now, since mid-March. These doctors are, are, are a bit baffled by this. Persistent symptoms of fatigue, cough, headache. Damage that has occurred either to the nervous system or to their organs. A shortness of breath, a rapid heart rate, chest pain. Blood clots, seizures. And you're not going to know if you're one of the long haulers or not. No one can tell us what's going to happen. I take two steps forward and then one step back. It kind of plays mind games with you. Are you worried you're never going to get back to pre-COVID health? Oh yes, very much so. COVID long haulers are those of us who are months into our illness post-COVID infection. Long haulers living a nightmare every day and the medical experts are left scratching their heads to figure out why. Months into this pandemic, we now know that COVID-19 is not just a respiratory illness that will last about two weeks. We know that COVID is a systemic illness affecting the entire body our hearts, lungs, brains, kidneys, nervous system, and blood vessels. It's still considered a little bit of a luxury to think about recovery because we're still in the throes of it. A lot of people have been told by doctors that they're imagining these symptoms, that they're potentially psychosomatic or anxious, and often told that they are not really suffering from coronavirus. This is my hair loss from COVID-19. The longer we go untreated, the more issues we can have long-term or permanently. I'm still struggling with occasional shortness of breath, random tachycardia, low grade fevers, severe chest pain, which affects my breathing, myocarditis, and dysautonomia, name numbness of the hands, feet, and face, and many, many neurological issues. I need help walking. A lot of times I forget words or I, I know them in my brain, but I can't get my mouth to say them. Short-term memory, muscle spasms and tremors, high blood pressure, random rash breakouts all over my body. Debilitating chronic fatigue. And I still suffer from intense headaches. Sore throat, multiple vision problems. Me, my three-year-old and five-year-old are all long haulers. And it's kind of like I don't do anything. My mind just goes blank. The leading health agencies have now acknowledged long haulers and say one in three of those infected with COVID-19 will become a long hauler. COVID-19 has had a significant impact on the financial status of many, especially COVID long haulers. We long haulers are asking you to please create multiple post-COVID care centers in every single state across the U.S. We ask that these centers have the capability to accept all insurance plans, offer reduced costs, or offer their services for free to those who are uninsured. We survived COVID for now, but we are not living. We are not the people we once were. We have lost quality of life, lost our jobs, and are dealing with negatively affected relationships and the mental and emotional stress of the reality that this may be the new and permanent us without medical care and treatment. I need post-COVID care because I'm not able to do my job. I want to be able to go on bike rides with my kids without having shortness of breath. I need a post-COVID care center so that I can regain my life prior to COVID and be able to care for my son as a single mom so that I can breathe normal again, that I may have a normal life again. And we need a place where we could go, where we feel safe. I need post-COVID care because I actually am a healthcare worker and I have not been able to go back to work full time. I work half shifts and I'm about to lose my job because that is no longer going to be accommodated. I need a post-COVID care center because I need help. And after 22 weeks and multiple tests, I can only be told to give it time. I need a post-COVID care center because right now I can't work, I can't cook for my kids, I can't drive. Uh, some days I can't even dress myself properly. This is a living nightmare that I cannot wake from. 
and we desperately need post-COVID care because I can't breathe because I can't walk up the stairs because when my kids go out to play I have to take out a chair so they can rest every few minutes we have been diagnosed with everything from myocarditis, contrapondylitis, pulmonary embolisms, lung damage, heart damage and I don't know if I'm going to make it out alive please Please give us the care that we need. We urge the medical community to be more proactive in opening widely accessible post-COVID care centers in each and every state. As of this moment, I have seen in consultation 122 long haulers. Like COVID itself, I can assure you that it is real. It is not a hoax, it is not in your head, it is not anxiety, and this disease and this condition needs to be treated with the respect it deserves. To the long haulers, don't give up. We see you, and we are with you, and we are doing everything we can to figure this out with you. You know we exist, and now we need care. Do you hear us? To help advocate for long haulers, please join us over at COVID-19 Long Hauler Advocacy Project on Facebook.